This is a continuation of our last video where we installed Linux Mint 11 using the GNOME 32-bit with no codecs installed live CD. In this video we will touch base on how to install those multimedia codecs so we can go ahead and play our music, video clips, YouTube videos, flash, all that will be included in these codecs. First things first we need to log in so go ahead and left click on our username and punch in our password that we chose during the installation procedure. Click on login or press the enter key and we'll be taken to our Linux Mint desktop. By default when you first run Linux Mint you'll be welcomed with this little welcome center pop-up. It took mine just a moment to load up. I'm using a, a rather low spec VirtualBox machine so if you'll notice down at the bottom left corner of this welcome center we have an option to install the multimedia codecs. Simply left click on that link You'll be prompted for your password, so enter the same password you used to log in with, hit enter, and the download procedures will start. This will take just a few minutes, so we'll go ahead and fast forward through this and come back to the point in which we can interact with the setup once again. You may get a pop-up asking if you'd want to go ahead and install the additional software. Go ahead and click on install and punch in your password and hit OK, and the process will continue. Now we have just about finished installing the codecs. Once the installation is complete, you will notice a Changes Applied box will pop up. You can click on Details if you'd like to see the exact details as to what was downloaded and installed, or you can just click on Close. I encourage you to check out the Welcome Center pop up. There's some links to tutorials, a user's guide, restricted drivers. Uh, you can upgrade the operating system to the DVD edition. If you don't want the Welcome Center to pop up, deselect that option and it'll go away. We'll go ahead and close it. Let's check to make sure that one of our codecs has installed properly. The easiest one to check for time's sake and for this video would be the Flash Player. I'll load up a video from my YouTube channel just to test it with. Prior to installing this codec pack, if we would have loaded a Flash based video or content, we would have gotten a plugin not installed error message in place of the content. So, all's well there. So, in a nutshell, that's how you install the multimedia codec packs within Linux Mint 11. As always, be sure to continue following our YouTube channel, subscribe to stay up to date, swing by our website at techiesmarts.com. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All those links are in the video descriptions and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.